you yell. Ore you yell. Ore you yell. Oh shoom. Oh shoom. Oh shoom. Yeah, yeah, me. Hello YouTube, this is a sealed by Sunyi Ade. First video of 2014. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, and today's video is on my mother, Oshun. I want to talk to you guys really quickly about her and some of the basic things that you all know about Oshun and some things that you may not know about Oshun. So, who is Oshun? Everyone knows. So for the most part, everyone knows that Oshun is one of the main Orishas. She's the only female Orisha that came down from heaven in the time of creation when, when Olofi created the world. She's the only female Orisha who came down from heaven. She's the only female Orisha who has the title of Irun More, or um, we're just going to say Tyen for now, um, or Witness to Creation. Um, but well, she's one of the few, one of the first 16 Irumoles, and she was the only female Irumole to come down from heaven. Um, Oshun is the Orisha of sweetness. She's the Orisha of love, marriage, happiness, wealth, prosperity, abundance. Um, she symbolizes these things, or she represents these things. She's the Orisha of gold. Or she's associated with gold. Her true metal is brass. But because um, she's the Orisha of wealth in Cuba and here in the West, she got more associated with gold because gold to us has a lot has a lot more um, value than brass does. Whereas in the old times, it was brass that was more important, or at least in Oshogbo, um which Ochun's main city is called Oshogbo, it's in Nigeria, but, or her main shrine and her main grove and everything is, is in a city called Oshogbo. And if you guys look it up, they do an annual Oshun Oshogbo festival, which I'm dying to go to um, in Nigeria, but well. Um, so her main metal is brass, not gold, but nowadays gold is mainly associated with her than brass. Um, Oshun's main color is the number five. So things in, in offerings for Oshun are usually done in five, ten, fifteen, twenty, like that. Um, so Oshun is represented by the river, or Oshun is the river in nature. That is what that is her main element is the river. Oshun's also uh, also, another element of Oshun is water, and it's sweet waters. Now, a lot of people think that sweet waters belong to Oshun. Technically speaking, all waters, whether they're sweet or not sweet, belong to Olokun. But Olokun prefers the ocean. Now, there's another thing, or another school of thought, which I agree with that says that the true owner of the river is Nanaburuku or Nanaburuku is the um, the creator of the river like she owns the the outburst of the river where the, where the river uh, is birthed and then she gives it to Oshun to live in so that's how Oshun became the owner of the rivers because Nanaburuku gave it to her some people follow that, some other people don't so I do agree that Nanaburuku is Oshun's mother. Some people say that some people say Nanaburuku is Oshun's real mother, and then Oshun was raised by Aye, and then Oshun lives in the river. Yurisha Aye raised Oshun. Nanaburuku is her mother. So do your research and I guess find out your own conclusions. There's always going to be um, an opposition, and there's always going to be a contradiction. Anyways. Ochun is the Orisha of childbirth. She's the Orisha of the womb. For those of you who do not know, and I'm going to make a little side note of this, pumpkins are sacred to Ochun. And I'm going to get back into pumpkins in just a bit. Pumpkins are sacred to Ochun, but pumpkins represent um, 
they're so sacred because they represent Ashun's womb or the or the female uterus where the baby is carried. That's one of the things that pumpkins represent. Another thing that pumpkins represent is Ochun's purse. It's an old Pataki in which Olohun gives out gifts to the Orisha and he gives Ochun a pumpkin and when she got obviously all she got was a pumpkin so she was like, Hello So she smashed it on the floor and when she did it was filled with gold coins and you know things that of value. So obviously she picked everything up and then from that moment on she started hiding her things in pumpkins. So the pumpkin for Oshun has two meanings, her womb and her purse. For this reason, the side note that I want to make is, for all of you out there who are getting pumpkins to do Oshun love spells and Oshun money spells and things like that, and you're cutting the pumpkin, you're breaking a big taboo, okay? Pumpkins are sacred. In the Orisha religion, if you have crowned Oshun like myself, or if you do not have crown or you have something else crown, for the most part, 95% of the entire Santeria community follows a very strict rule with pumpkins. Pumpkins are not cut, they are not given out as gifts, and they are not eaten. And that includes anything that is made of pumpkin. So no pumpkin muffins, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin whatever. Nothing of pumpkin is consumed but most, 95% of the people in the religion do not consume pumpkin because it's so sacred to Oshun. In my house, in my lake, all of my godchildren are automatically forbidden from ever again tasting pumpkin because I have Oshun crown and I follow that taboo strictly and I make sure that everyone around me follows that taboo strictly. Pumpkins are only used for offerings or at the moose. Uh, I'm sorry, for offer for at the moose, which is which are offerings, or bulls, which are like working and, and sacrifice. Um, in order to cut a pumpkin, it should it should always be rare. Cutting a pumpkin should be one of those things that there's nothing else you can do in this world, and or should have given her blessing to cut the pumpkin and. You have already looked in every alley, and then there's nothing else, then okay, go ahead and cut the pumpkin. If not, you should avoid cutting pumpkins. So all of you out there cutting pumpkins to do lo Oshu love spells, you are breaking at the boot. Anyway, so I want to put that out there. So she's the Orisha of uh, childbirth and the Orisha of childbearing. It is considered that a woman, because Oshun has given birth to so many uh, children, it is considered that a woman should not cry during her childbirth or anything like that, or scream that a woman should intake the childbirth, just like Oshun, just, I mean, I don't know how that happens, because obviously that thing is ripping you open from the inside out, but anyways, you know, you're supposed to take it as an act of devotion to Oshun and just release the child without complaining. Um, speak for yourself, I'm obviously not a woman. Anyway, um, Oshun's main um, offering is the offering of honey. Everyone, a lot of people say that honey and that bees are Oshun's messengers. Some people will disagree, but people will say that Oshun's messengers are the bees because she's associated with honey. Whereas Oshun's true messengers are birds, and we're going to get into that in just a second. So Oshun is associated with honey, excuse me, um, mainly for two things. One, honey is sweet, extremely sweet, and honey obviously should represent the good things in life. And another thing is honey is amber color, which is another color or material, natural thing that's associated because uh, uh, oh my god, amber it's not a stone but it's it's a, it's a, it's a sap that hardens and then it, people sell it as stones but it's really a sap. So, and it's transparent, it, oh I should have taken that out. Anyway, so amber is sacred to Oshun, corals, especially red corals or orange corals are sacred to Oshun also. They're usually worn around the neck 
or a lot of her um, elekes will carry a piece of coral or several pieces of coral. People will keep coral inside with the shoes fundamental and, and amber and stuff like that also. Honey, I need to go back to honey. Um, honey is honey. So honey represents the sweetness in life, all these good things. It's a, it relates to amber also and whatnot. Honey should always be tasted prior to offering it to a shroom. For example, if this is a plate of honey and I come up to a shroom, as I stand in front of a shroom, the first thing you do would be you would hold your plate and you would get your finger, lick the honey, and then you would do a shroom's offering. Why is the honey tasted for a shroom? It is tasted because the, the Pataki said that there was once upon a time in which Oshun's enemies tried to defeat Oshun or uh, by poisoning her. They tried to poison her with honey because she knew, because they knew that she would not even worry about the honey, she just liked eating honey. Um, they poisoned her honey and then from that moment on she made a taboo that every single time that her honey was being offered to her, the person offering would have to taste it. So always, always, always taste or choose honey before you give it to her. So another thing that some of you may not know about Oshun. Oshun is Yurisha of self-esteem. Oshun is Yurisha that, that makes you feel good. Okay, when you have low self-esteem, Oshun is Yurisha to call on. Because Oshun is Yurisha of life. She is Yurisha who teaches you to live life. So another thing that some of you may not know is Oshun is Yurisha of self-esteem. She is Yurisha of life. She is Yurisha who teaches you how to live life happily and in a way in which no matter what happens around you, that you remain happy. And there's always something in life that it's worth living. And there's something, something in life that it's worth smiling and laughing for. And some of you forget that, and Oshun is here to remind you that. First of all, there's always someone that's going to be worse than you in life. That they, they, they're going to have um, worse problems than you do. That are going to be going through tougher situations than you are. And a lot of people seem to handle it much, much better than those people who seem to have everything. And then they're missing a few things, and obviously they're crying about it. Well, Oshun is Yurisha who uplifts people, okay? When you crumble down in life and everything seems to go bad and you you are just heartbroken. Oshun is the Orisha or the deity or the, the entity who comes up to you and gives you a mirror and gives you some makeup or gives you a cologne and says, get dressed we're going out you know get dressed there's always someone out there get dressed and and be happy in the house get dressed and dance so she is Yurisha of self-esteem she's Yurisha who lifts you up when you are down she's Yurisha who teaches you to live for something or she is Yurisha who saves the world when the great flood happened um my dog is on the floor when the great flood happened Oshun was the only one in the form of Ibukole, in the form of the vulture, that was uh, able to arrive at the feet of Olofi and ask him to please stop the flood, thus saving humanity and the world and everything. For that reason, Oshun is always, before initiation, Oshun is always placated with different things and different ceremonies are done to Oshun. Every single person, no matter what Orisha you're being drawn to, has to appropriate Oshun and has to do an Oshun ceremony the day prior. That's how important Oshun is. Um, I think I already said this, but Oshun is considered the youngest of all of the Orishas, and yet she is considered um, the most feared. Why is she the most feared? It's because with Oshun's grace, anything can be achieved, and with Oshun's displeasure, nothing will be achieved. By anyone, by any deity, by any Orisha, by nothing. Oshun will destroy anything that she wants to destroy 
and she will uplift anything that she wants to uplift. That is the strong power of Rashum. Mm. That is something that a lot of people tend to forget sometimes. So always look out for Shun's grace. Um, Oshun's darker side, for example, would be um, back to the abdomen area. Oshun, when she gets mad, um, she will attack. If, if she's punishing someone, she will usually punish by the abdomen area, or she will punish in the case of men and in the uterus area, in the case of women, um, and the blood. The blood is sacred to Oshu. The blood are called the rivers of the body. Rivers are sacred to Oshu, or rivers are Oshu's physical manifestation in nature. So the rivers of the, the, the rivers of blood are sacred to Oshu. Your vein, all the blood that goes through your, your body, is sacred to Oshu. Oshu's main number, I think I already said it also, is number five, and she speak she speaks in the Odu Oshe, which is five. Um, five shells speaking. Um, I'm trying to think what else I could be missing, what else I could be missing about Oshun. Oshun is the origin of hairdressing. Uh, this, the art of styling the hair and the art of uh, this, the art of styling the hair was developed by Oshun. So she's the first original hairdresser. She is the first original deity or person to ever use a comb. That's why Oshun's, one of Oshun's main title is She of the Pearly Combs. Um, and she's the first one who also used Akodides, which are these little feathers. They're called Akodides, and they're gray African parrot feathers. Um, they're a symbol of royalty, and they symbolize prosperity, wealth, uh, uh, royalty, like, you know, the crown. They represent... Um, the spiritual knowledge and the spiritual connection to the other realm. They represent connection to uh, Olofi. And Oshun was the first one to utilize, to, to braid her hair and utilize these Akodides to put in her hair, to adorn them and, and make herself look beautiful. For that reason, from that moment on, in Nigeria mainly, all of the Oshun priestesses always wear Akodides in, her, in their hair. In the Americas and in the diaspora, um, we don't really wear a Godidez in our hair too often. There's a few times that you do see some people with, uh, with an Akodide in their hair. Or I've seen a lot of people that get like a hat. They'll get a hat and then they'll attach one of the Akodides to the hat. Because like in the case of like me, who I'm usually bald or, or like this, I can't put Akodides in my hair, obviously. So people will wear a hat and then the Akodide will be stuck in the hat. And that's usually mostly done nowadays in, in the Afro-Cuban religion, that's mostly done as a bull, as some sort of working for something, as some sort of uh, uh, prayer to something, so not not more as an everyday thing, as, in, as it is in Nigeria, that it's an everyday, just natural thing, you're a priestess of Oshun, so you wear this in your head, like we don't really tend to wear that as often, but it is part of the Oshun tradition, um, technically. So, my Oshun is Oshuni Buanya, or Oshun the drummer, or the Oshun that lives inside of the main drum of the Anya. Uh, she's a dancer, she is notorious for her breasts. Um, she loves her breasts and she loves to show them off. Um, different Oshuns, obviously. Oshun has many paths, so different Oshuns have different ways of behaving. You have Oshuni Bu Anya, you have Oshuni Bu Kole, and Oshuni Bu Ololodi. Oshunipu Aquaro, Oshunipu Yumu, um, Oshunipu Asedan. There's so many Oshuns, and er, all of them behave differently, all of them act differently. But overall, the theme stays the same. You know, you always have her color, usually stays as, uh, the color yellow, her number is always five. Everything remains the same, it's just her behavior, her patterns tend to. And her manifestation when she mounts is what changes, you know, depending on the path of the Oshun that a person has. Um, so, what else? I'm trying to think. 
Well, I'm not sure what else I can talk about or show my now. I think I've said quite a few things already. Besides the fact that I love, love, love my mother, my real mother, my physical mother, and my spiritual ow, my physical mother and my spiritual mother. So, call on Oshun for good things. Call on Oshun for happy things. Oh, another thing. When you're trying to sweet someone up, and this is something that everyone tends to know, or some of you who do not know. If there's someone bothering you in life, or, or if there's someone that you're trying to impress, something that you're trying to gain from someone, or something like that, a very quick Oshun spell is to get that person's name and write it on a piece of paper, and then you put it, the little piece of paper on a plate, and you're going to call on Oshun mentally, if you don't have Oshun, if you don't have the Orisha crown, or the Orisha received, um, you're going to call on Oshun mentally, with the name of the person on a piece of paper, and then you're going to pour honey over the paper, you take the honey, you're going to pour honey over the paper as you call on Oshun and as you ask her to sweeten that person for whatever and what it is that you want. So for example, I want, you know, Joe Schmo to please look at me and I want him to fall in love with me because that's what most of you are going to do. Um, so you will put Joe Schmo and you'll call on Oshun and start pouring honey taste your honey and start pouring honey over Joe Schmo's name and asking Oshun, Oshun, please mother, I want this person, sweeten them up, make them like me as much as I like them, blah, 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 you talk to Oshun like that and you leave that there for a day, two days, three days, depending, and then you'll carry it. Usually you should take it to the river, but if not, then take it to some sort of body of water, and if not, out to nature. But the point is to sweeten the person's name with Oshun's honey, thus Oshun sweetening the person, thus you getting what you want. That's a very simple spell that or, or working with Oshun. So, and usually people use it for things of love. For those of you who are going to be trying that little spell, I recommend your little. I recommend that you are a little prayerful. So, anyways, um, I can't think of anything else right now. Oh, today is January 8th. I tried making this video yesterday, January 7th. So I wanted to let you guys know. Well, I made this video yesterday, but it came out crappy and I was like, no. So I had to redo it this morning. So anyways, on January 6th, it, it, it was my niece's birthday, Mimi. And Mimi is a daughter of, of Agayu. She has Chango or Agayu crown. And her birthday was on the 6th of January, so I wanted to say happy birthday to Mimi. I have another friend called Naideli, who I want to say happy birthday to her. She Her birthday was on the 4th. And yesterday, the 7th, was Adiari's birthday, which is, who is a, a Chango priest, that's a good friend of mine. And I wanted the owner of Orisha Couture, and I wanted to say happy birthday to my YouTube channel to all three of them. Yay, yay. Anyway. Um, so I guess that's it, Oshun, beautiful Orisha, Orisha of happiness, laughter, beauty, everything that's good and worth living for, my mother, I adore, adore my mother, and anyone who knows me knows that how much I love my mother, and I can't, I can't say it enough. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching, um, happy 2014 for everyone. I will be trying to make a lot more videos. I have um, classes this year that I want to put out. I have uh, my store that I have reopened that I'm putting stuff out through there also. My store suit on needed signs and I'm going to make a whole video on that. And I have classes that I'm working on right now to start, private classes to start teaching and I have a whole list of videos that people have sent me. Uh, requests on videos. I just haven't been able to do them guys and I'm lazy and my camera is not that good so you know I'm doing the best I can right now. So anyway thank you so much for watching. Oro ye ye Oro ye ye Oro ye ye Oshun 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 ye ye me ye 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 me Oro Oro ye ye Thank you guys for watching. May Oshun's blessing be ever upon you. And may her honey always be sweet towards you. And may she ever...
always and always and always smile upon us because we always need her laughter. So, many thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, everyone. Ashe, ashe, ashe. nature that is what that is her main element is the river oceans also uh also another element of ocean is water and it's sweet waters now a lot of people think that sweet waters belong to ocean technically speaking all waters whether they're sweet or not sweet belong to orokun but orokun prefers the ocean now there's another thing or another school of thought, which I agree with, that says that the true owner of the river is Nanaburuku, or Nanaburuku is the um, the creator of the river. Like she owns the the outburst about Oshun. So who is Oshun? Everyone knows, or for the most part, everyone knows that. Oshun is one of the main Orishas. She's the only female Orisha that came down from heaven in the time of creation when, when Olofi created the world. She's the only female Orisha who came down from heaven. She's the only female Orisha who has the title of Irun More or um, we're just going to say Tain for now um, or witness to creation. Um, but well, she's one of the few one of the first 16 Irumoles, and she was the only female Irumole to come down from heaven. Um, Oshun is the Orisha of sweetness. She's the Orisha of love, marriage, happiness, wealth, prosperity, abundance. Um, she symbolizes these things, or she represents these things. She's the Orisha of gold, or she's associated with gold. Her true metal is brass. But because um, she's the Orisha of wealth in Cuba and here in the West, she got more associated with gold because gold to us has a lot has a lot more um, value than brass does. Whereas in the old times, it was brass that was more important, or at least in Oshogbo, um, which Ochun's main city is called Oshogbo it's in Nigeria, but or her main shrine and her main grove and everything is in a city called Oshogbo and if you guys look it up they do an annual Oshun Oshogbo festival which I'm dying to go to um, in Nigeria but well um, so her main metal is brass not gold but nowadays gold is mainly associated with her than brass um, Oshun's main color is the number five. So things and in, in offerings for Oshun are usually done in five, ten, fifteen, twenty, like that. Um, so Oshun is represented by the river, or Oshun is the river. It Hello YouTube, this is a seal by Sunyi Ade. First video of 2014. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, and today's video is on my mother, Oshun. I want to talk to you guys really quickly about her and some of the basic things that you all know about Oshun and some things that you may not know 